Steph and the Useless Crafter, we are going to be doing some weaving today, some fun crafts with the kids. We know this holiday season, um, we're always home, but with the pandemic going on, we are seriously going to be hunkered down. So we wanted to come up with some crafts that would be fun for the kids. And I have some special assistance today. So I have first, I have my daughter. Do you want to introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Charlotte from the other Useless Crafter. <laughs> yes. And then we have our special friend who's here, who's made an appearance before. So she is a seasoned guest. Yeah. You want to say your name? Emma. Emma. Do you have a full name? Yeah. <laughs> Emma, <laughs> do you want to give your ages? How old are you, Emma? I'm eight. And how I'm, old are you, Charlotte? I'm five and a half. Five and a half. So we're going to see if we can accomplish this uh, this craft. So we did this and we wanted to do a special shout out to Olivia Gamble's Girl Scout troop because we did this together with her and it was a lot of fun. So do you know Olivia's um, Girl Scout troop number? No. I'll have to put it in the comments. But all right, so let's get started. What you need today are paper plates. Everybody gets one paper plate and what you'll end up weaving is this. So this is my take on a watermelon, but you could do um, also like a holiday, whatever peppermint. colors that you want to do. Peppermint? That's what it That's a make. peppermint. Yeah, kind of, huh? Uh, but you could put this, this could be wall decor, a coaster, um, just gifts, fun gifts. All right, so let's get started. First, everyone needs a paper plate and scissors. So what you want to do is with the paper plate, you already have the grooves. So you want to cut down a little bit on the line, on one line, okay? So do your first cut, yep. And then count. You want three, and then you do the next cut. So you count every three, and you'll do your next cut all the way around, okay? And it's okay if we make mistakes. And you can cut down as far as you want. The further down you cut, then your weaving ends sooner, okay? So let's go all the way around. Mama. Yes? Good. And you don't have to go so fast. You just want to cut down every the three. Funny. The scissors are funny. Do you want to switch with mommy? Okay. okay. And Emma, how are you doing? Good. Good. Okay. So once you make it all the way around the plate is when you're going to need twine. Um, and we use twine because twine um, is a little bit. Yes, I can cut. You're doing a great job. It's too much. Oh, it's too much. Okay. So um, the twine is, it's, it's a little bit more stable. And so you can pull on it a lot more than you could with yarn. So if you don't have twine, you can definitely still use yarn or any kind of string. But I definitely like the twine. Okay, so we're almost done with Charlotte's. All right, so every third, and then I'm gonna do finish mine really quickly. I'm almost done. You're almost done? Awesome. And the girls already picked out their yarn colors. Look okay. at You can have See? one color. Oh, cool. Okay, so I did mine, and mine has a mistake. Somehow I have one with just one, but it's okay because we're just gonna be wrapping the twine to create our little grid. So if you can kind of ah, see that. I got one too. Okay. <laughs> you did too? Okay, that's all right. Okay, so now we're going to get the twine. So I do about six yards and the way I measure yards, well, I actually have a, a mat on the table, but one yard is kind of like your arm's length. So one, two, three, four, five and six now you don't this is only if you want to prep for it in advance because if you don't then you can just pull from here so okay and charlotte you ready all right let me pull yours out so that way you have it so let's just do it really quickly one two and you can see this is not exact <laughs> four Five and I know that one's for you. Okay. So what you want to do is, and I'll just do mine right here. Okay, you ready? You guys grab your twine. Yeah. Okay, so you're gonna leave a little bit of space. Like this much space? Mm-hmm. So have the one, have the plate 
like the, the one that dips down where you would normally eat from, have that facing you like this, okay? okay. So you have the little bit of twine out here. You're gonna put it down on one of your slits. Hmm. Okay, so it's gonna hang like this. Yeah, good job, Charlotte. Okay, so let that one hang in the back. Uh, where's your thing? Oh, wait a minute, we gotta go all the way to the end. You wanna find the end of your twine. Oh, like this? Yes, the other way though, honey. So mm -hmm. you want the little tag to be on the back of your plate, okay? So here's a little hanging piece at the back. So, Charlotte, you're gonna pull it all the way down. Yeah. I'm gonna show it this way so you can see it. Pull it all the way down so it goes all the way across your plate. Yep, like that. pull it up and then pull go a little bit over. Okay, hold on. And then pull it down and go over. Down, like this. Okay, you I got, got it? it? Okay. Like this. Let me see. Yep, you want this to show, yeah. And then you're gonna go across like this. Do you see? Yeah. Um, oops, yeah. Okay. So you're just crisscrossing your way through. So let me see if I can show you this way, okay. Mm. So you're gonna go s straight down. And then I go here. Yeah, and then that one goes over. Okay, so you're gonna go down and over. So now I'm gonna go onto the next slit. And I'm gonna go over here. So go down the slit. Go on the next one. So you're creating this um, this little grid so that we can weave our yarn through. So you see so far, we're just going up and down and over to the next one. I got it. Love you it. got it. Yes. I know, it's my twine, it's okay. Oh, good job, Charlotte. And yours is a good color, so every, I'm gonna show your plate in a second because yours is easier to see. Um, good job. So see, this is Charlotte's. And it's okay, there's like an extra one right here. So to make it easier, what you done. wanna do. You're done too, awesome, okay. So at the end, when you still have extra twine, you're gonna pull it over so that it comes to the front. Your excess is in the front. And then what you wanna do. Just keep on going? No, not keep on going. You sort of wanna just <laughs> tie it in the center. So I'm me? gonna tie it yeah. in the center for you. That's good. Just so that you get a really good center. So you see how when you knot it in? So I'm just going to pull it like this. Yeah, that bobby pin on you. Hmm? Oh. Yeah. You're gonna use a bobby pin. So then you're gonna tie it. Hold on. What? When are we going to get to the yarn part? We're getting to the yarn part right now. So you have your excess with the string right here. Just pull it up and behind because everything that's behind here is out of sight. So now you have your little grid, right? So we're gonna take our first piece of yarn. So I oh, hold on. Let me see. Let me get yours. So you have yours here. So here's Emma's, right? So she has a pretty good grid. We're gonna bring her excess from the back. And you see there's a lot from six yards. I do six yards because if you're prepping this in advance for a bunch of girls to do it, it's nice for them to just have their piece out. Um, and you always just want extra. So, okay, so here's our excess. We're gonna pull it to the front, right? So get it in the front. Then what you're gonna do is, I'm gonna cut off a piece here so it's not so long. Okay, so here's her excess, and you're kind of just gonna wrap it in the middle so that you can get a really good center. Charlotte, I need space, honey. I'm trying to show people how to do this. Okay, so you're gonna knot it, or you don't even need to knot it. I just kind of looped it through so that this is more um, clear, and then I'm gonna take the excess and put it in the back. All right, so. Do you guys have your yarn? Where's your yarn? Yeah, right here. Okay, so you're starting with the pink one? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so here's her pink one. Just pull out maybe like this much. Okay. It's not exact here. In a second, Charlotte, hold on. So here we go. What you wanna do is you wanna get your two ends so that you can have you can get to this end, right? So with this end, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your bobby pin and you're gonna just put it through. Hold on, Charlotte. 
I'm showing everybody how to do it and then I'll set you up, okay? So here's your bobby pin. And here's your end, right? So your end, what you want to do is you I want... It, like curly. I know, it gets curly <laughs> because it's been in the thing. Okay, so at your end, what you want to do is you want to go to your circle, the middle of your pin, right? Right here. And you're just going to tie it. So actually, I'm going to switch cameras real quickly. Hold on. All right, so now you can see here. Give me a second. Yeah. All right, so we're still here. Okay. So you have your little center. What you want to do is you want to grab your loose ends. And you're going to tie it right here, right to the center. All right. You're going to have a loose ends right here. It's going to be okay. We're going to tuck it in later. All right, Emma, so you ready? Yes. So I'm getting you started. I got oh, the bobby you got the bobby pin? pin? Okay. So here's the bobby pin. Here's the end, right? So what you're going to do is you can start anywhere. But what you want to do is you want to go under one, over one, under the next one, over. Over. See, you're starting right here. You're going to go over one. This is, we're going to start with this one, over, okay? Under, so over, go over, under, under. under. Over, under, over, under. Oh yeah, I've weaved the heart before. Yeah. So then what you want to do is you want to grab your yarn. And at the beginning, it's going to be more difficult because your circle is so, so small, right? But as you get, as it gets out wider, like it's going to be, you like that one? It's yeah. going to be a lot easier. All right. This one's the watermelon pizza. Hold on, Charlotte. <laughs> so here we are. We're up here. Go over. Hey, hey, hey. You gotta scoot back so everyone can see. Over, under, over, under, over, under, under, under over. Under, and then under, under. I do a few of them and then I pull the yarn through. Okay. All right, you think you got it? Yeah. So like I said, it's a little bit more difficult at the beginning because it's I, hard to see it. And then you but as colors. your circle gets bigger, it's gonna be so much easier, all right? Okay, so here you go, Emma. I'm gonna let you get started and then you I'm gonna start start. colors on here. I did. And you can use more colors too. I think. All right, so we're gonna let Emma work on the side. I'm gonna get Charlotte started. So here's her little wheel. What color are you yeah. doing? Um, green first. Green first. Okay, this green. What? I gotta go. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut it right here. Oh, not sure. Let's get this one. Okay. Over, under. Mm -hmm. under. And you don't want to do it too tight. I mean, this is one of those crafts where not too tight, not too loose, just perfect in the middle. <laughs> I know, a lot easier said than done. Okay. In a second, Charlotte, let me grab it for you. Okay, so I'll get this one. You can use that one. You want to take that one out? Okay. So I haven't put in her bobby pin yet, but here's the here's one end, right? Here's the loose ends. So the loose ends, are you getting it? Yeah. Okay. Whoa. Okay. There you go. Why is there a big old clump? I don't know what happened to your clump right there. So when you get clumps, if you can, you try to get, um, I think what happened here? Oh, it's just this. It's just the, end. the, the ends. So we can cut off the ends because I think that will make it easier for you to for it to not get in the way. All right. Get at it, Emma. Bad All bad. right. So let's get Charlotte started. Okay. Here's her end. Oh, like now at the beginning, I would say shorter is easier because you're looping so much right here. So here are the two tail end pieces. What you want to do is oh, I want grab under, this middle I want section. I went under two. You went under two? It's okay. At the okay. beginning, you just want to get started to get to, you know, a bigger circle. Okay, so I can put it under. I'm just going to tie it right here for Charlotte and get her started. So I did do this craft on a Zoom <coughs> craft call. Ooh, bless you, Charlotte. On a Zoom craft call, it was definitely a little bit more difficult because I feel like with this one, um, seeing it up close is easier and in person definitely, but the girls were great. They're about, I think they're 10 and no, they did some of them are 11. Oh, some are 11 already? No wonder. Yeah, the they did amazing crafts. Mm -hmm. The party I told you? Yeah. On Friday, 
She turned 11. Oh, she did. Okay. All right. So here is Charlotte. And you can see right here, there's an extra line. Don't worry about it. We're just going to start somewhere. So I'm going to pick this one. Okay. So I'm going to go under, over, under, under, under. And then I'm going to go over both of these. I'm going to count. I'm going to loop these together. Okay. And then I'm going to pull this through. Okay, Keep you going ready? under two. Okay, so hold on. Here's your bobby pin. And hold on, put it down so people can see. Okay, so you went, you need to go over this one, right? And then under. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Oh, no, that one is exactly. And then pull your bobby pin a little bit, right? Pull, no, 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 you gotta get your yarn. Hold on. Pull it all the way through all the way through so that your yarn gets onto the plate oh look at charlotte that looks so good okay yeah so you're gonna go over this one under that one okay under, over, under. and then what i will do is i'm gonna finish one of mine yeah, yeah that looks good you okay and then it. take a pause take a pause and pull your yarn through okay and not too tight okay you want to show everyone what you have so far? Well, see, like you went under, so this one goes over. Under. Mm hmm. Okay, and then pull it through. And see, look, Charlotte's getting her little circle started. Yeah. All right, let me see how are you doing, Emma. The string is too okay. thin and caught in there. Yeah. I think I did yours too long. Oh, there. You got it. Okay. Yeah. So here is Emma's. Oops. You're not on camera anymore. There you are. Okay. Let me see. You just got to go all the way to the end. Okay. So you're right here. And so you got to go over and then under. So I would definitely say when you're first starting, um, the sh a shorter there's yarn. Another one. Hmm? Yeah, there's another one. The shorter there one is go. easier because you're winding all the way around. So you're gonna go. So this one is over. So under, over, under, over, under. Pull it through. Wait, why is two coming out of one? Um, that's okay because we were tying it. Remember, so you can count it as one. So go under or over both of them at the same time. So here we stopped. We're going to go over, whoop, under, over, over, under. You think you got it now? Oh, I only You want to try it again? So this one's under, so you're going to go over this one, okay? I messed up on that. I, only, I went through. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's confusing. Is it? I know at the beginning it is kind of confusing. When I get you want, here, it's probably easy. You want me to do it really quickly for you? Okay. Right, get me started. Yeah, get you started. Okay, so here we are. Mm -hmm. She ended with under, so we're going to go over, under, over, under. Mommy, I forgot which one I ended with. Okay, well, you got to pull your yarn through and then see where you went, ended. Okay, give me a second. All right. So we're getting our circle. Under. So she went under right here, so we're going to go over. And you're just weaving up and down, up and down. Stop. Mine is under, over? Yep, you're going every over, other. Under, over, under, over. I need to squeeze my chair. The chair does not go closer. No, I know because of the bars. Why is that bars? so that the cameras are always mounted, <sighs> right? So much better than the than what I used to have, right? Yeah, Hold it on. To be, used to be two lights, and then I your phone. Okay. Mommy, there's a problem. Is there a problem? Okay, let me see. No, okay. No, I think you're fine. Can and look at this one. Again, are you okay, Emma? Uh-huh. Okay. It's yes. over? And I'm gonna go under. Okay, mommy, I'm ready. I'm ready. You're ready? Yes, okay. But where were you? Well, you can see. Look, put it down. Under. Under. So, under. So you're gonna go over this one. Okay. Okay. Under. Under. Okay. 
Let's see. Over, under, over, under. All right, now I'm gonna see if I can finish over, this one. Under. So here is mine from before. And I will show you in a second how to add your next color, or even if you're doing the same color but you're out of yarn. Um, it's actually really easy. And there's a couple ways to do it, all of which are right, <laughs> whichever one you prefer. So here I stopped right here, so it's under, so obviously Mom, over. Look how big my is. Yours is looking awesome. I was. Well, no, you I can look. The... You can see where you are. Oh, oh the yarn just got twisted. Under, and you see, like, over, it, you just under. need to, just like any type of threading, um, you want to pull it. And then you can see it's starting to like lose its place. So you just keep going. Look at it. Awesome. Exactly. Cool. And wait till you get a little bit further out. It's going to be so much fun to weave it. Do a little bit more of the white, and then I'm gonna show you how to add the red. Under, over, under. I know you can't see Charlotte anymore, but she's working really, really hard. Oh, you could just see her up there. <laughs> Do you want to show everybody what you have so far on your plate? Ah. Oh, that looks so good, Emma. You're finishing your peppermint. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. <laughs> All right, I'm going to add the red suit. I'm going to do a few more, and then I'm going to add the red to show How long those. haven't you been doing that? Well, I did this when I did Olivia's Zoom craft session. Is and then, that one your first one? Yes. And Wait, how do you put I this in? You just wrap it around. Oh, you just keep wrapping. All right, so let's see. Do a little bit more, and then I'm going to get the red. All right, so when you end it, so even here, even though I have so much yarn, but I realize I want to do red next. So what you want to do is you want to cut off a, your ends. And then what I've been doing is where I end. Uh-oh, I made the circle smaller. It's okay, I'll be right there, okay? I'm just going to tie a knot so it doesn't unravel. Okay, so here's my little knot, and then my excess, I'm just going to uh, push it underneath. Happen, mommy, um, Whoa, mommy, undo it a little bit. My yarn's out. Oh, okay, your yarn's out. Oh, perfect. Oh my gosh, Charlotte got her little pinwheel going, and her yarn is out. So in her case, because she went all the way to the end, I'm just going to cut this off. What color do you want to do next, Charlotte? Could I please do my white? Yes, I'm going to unwind it a little bit, just so that I can... Mm -hmm tie it right here hold on charlotte you're gonna have to wait a second okay so i'm going to unwind it and tie it just so that it doesn't undo itself and i'm double knotting it and you can tie it any way that you want to um really so now i'm gonna the loose ends i'm gonna tuck it under and then you wanted to do white next charlotte okay so i'm gonna grab the white yarn and i'm gonna just do a short string for her because I think the shorter is easier. Yeah. So here is her end. This right? Bobby pin. Okay, I'm going to need the bobby pin in a second. Okay, so I tied it to this one, right? And we're going in this direction counterclockwise. So wherever she ended that knot, I'm going to go the one even before it. And I'm going to tie my knot here. Yeah. So I'm going to tie it around so that she has a, an anchor, basically. So let me tie that. And it doesn't have to be tied perfectly because we're going to weave around it. Start with over or under? Well, you, I think you get to decide. So I'm going to tuck under all the excess so it doesn't get in her way. And then here's the end of her white. Mm. Can you see your bobby pin? Can I put it in? Yep, you can put it in for sure. All the way to the end. Okay, so here you are, Charlotte. Mm -hmm. Hold on, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to... It off Cut it off so it doesn't get in your way. Okay, so you started right here. So over, under, over, under. Yep, and that's it. So it's just like 
starting from the beginning, except instead of starting in the middle, you have already established where you um, where you're gonna start and so you, yeah. Good. Okay, now let's pull your yarn a little bit so I can see. So she's just going at it. She likes to do a lot of it at one time. But see, when you pull a lot of it at one time, you just want to make sure your yarn doesn't get stuck into the slits. So, yeah, so here's her yarn. Okay. Charlotte, you can always find out where you are. Because look, you went under, under, and then under, over, under, right? Under. Yep. Okay. Under. All right, Emma, how are you under. doing? Almost done, great. All right, where am I? I'm over here. So my white was tied somewhere. Um, oh, right here. So I'm gonna start here with my red, if I had red. I'll be right back while the girls are working. My red and white. My I only see the white. I have no more red left. So I'm gonna finish it off with you green. Have pink. Or actually, I'm gonna do this green because this green is. Under. Okay. Mommy, I forgot where is one. Under. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna do my under. little piece. Under. And I'm gonna do a short one just under. to show you how to get started again. All right. So here are my loose ends. I'm gonna go to where I knotted it last. So this is where I ended my white. So I'm gonna go under, one under, before under, that. Under, under, under. And I'm gonna anchor myself to this one. Um, mommy, I pulled it under. That looks great, Charlotte. Okay, so I'm gonna tuck it under. I'm gonna get myself a bobby pin. Under, over, under. I'm under, almost done. Yay! Are you gonna to want to switch colors? Over. Yes. So here's my green. Here's where my white ended. So now I'm gonna go over, under, under, under over, under. under. And so you see, when you do that, your green right here there. covers my white knot a little All bit. Done. Cool. Okay. So what color are we doing next? Uh, the green. Okay. Mommy, look how far I am. I forgot where I was. Mm. Are you sure you can't figure out where you ended? Over. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna cut off Emma's, right? So she went all the way to the end as well, which is okay. I'm going to undo just a little bit. And I'm gonna tie it to, oh, she's stuck. There we go. I'm gonna tie it to a string. This, this string is getting my leg. Okay, you're going to have to hold on. Can I cut it off? Which one's in the way? That one? Okay, hold on, let me see. So the excess piece is getting in the way, so let me tie it for you down here. And I forgot And you can I see was. there's really no right or wrong way to do this. You just want to get things out of the way, have them able to weave. Okay. And look at, she's doing such a good job. This is my little kindergartner working, weaving away. All right, so let's get Emma. So Emma's I tied right here. I'm gonna tuck the excess under. And then which one, this one? Yes. Okay, so she chose this one. I'm gonna make it a little bit easier for you this time, okay? I'm gonna make it shorter. I'll go. And, and, you. and when you end with this one, if we still want to do this color, we can still add more of this color, okay? So you don't have to switch colors. All right, so here are her ends. So we ended here. I'm going to tie it to the one before it. And then after this, I'm going to show you how to make the tassels to put underneath if you wanted to do like a dream catcher look. Um, or just tassels to add to your purse, book bag, um, hair. <laughs> Maybe I can get it to add to one of the girls' hairs. Okay, all right, Emma, here we go. So you ended here, and here you are. So I would go Mommy, over this one. I need the no problem. It's already up. Hmm. Okay, what's your problem? Oh, okay. 
So let's see. So she went too far. That's okay. Can I fix it for you? Okay. So I'm just gonna go over it. So there's this little bump that we can't really undo. So I'm just gonna continue weaving and try to do the rest for me. Do the rest for and you. Oh my out. gosh. Okay. And see, you kind of just go over it and it gets hidden underneath. So um just keep going. Can okay. I try again? Wait, where are Yeah, you you're going? almost at the end. So do you think you want to go back to green? You want me to finish out this white and then do you want to go back to green or do you want to add another color? Um, Okay, get your pink yarn and then we can do it. Oh, Emma, I love these two colors. So see, she's starting this one and we're yes, just gonna I go can. around. All right, can't wait I to see that. Coming. I'm gonna take my earrings off. My earrings are hurting my ears. Oh, they are? Okay, let's make sure, let's put them further up right here, over here so we don't lose them. Okay. Oh, my ear feels all right, so Charlotte is ending here. So I'm just gonna loop this around. You want those easy? See, these ones are more down, and this one's more up. Yeah. So you can just go right. It through. gets so much easier when you. Because you can just go right through. Mm -hmm. all the ones. It gets way, way, way more fun too as you get to the outer the parts of the ending. circle. Okay, so uh, I tucked it under. What happened? Uh oh, so you just pull it out. So. Here, the yarn, you just want to take your finger and pull it out. So you pulled it too tight and it, it lost its place. Yeah. And then again, as you build this, that will get easier too. Okay? Mom? Yes. Can you say we color? Yes, you want pink, right? Pink. All right, so I'm going to start Charlotte on pink. I'm going to pull just a little bit because it's definitely easier. Um, with the shorter piece of yarn to manage, so. Oh no, we're not almost done. We still gotta do the tassels. So let's get you finished up. Are you gonna up. be able to hang them? Yes. How do you hang them? Hang. There's gonna be a piece of string. Yes. Now I'm gonna definitely want more too. Look at this. This is all that's left. Yes. Well, do you want more of that color or do you think you want yeah. to switch color? Okay. Yes. So I did a horrible tying job, but that's not a, not a big deal. <laughs> this is one of those things where if you just get all the way to the end, you have a beautiful end project. Yes? I thought you were the useless crafter, not the horrible useless crafter. <laughs> yeah, not the horrible useless crafter. Well, we're going to fix it. It's going to look amazing. Okay, so we're gonna go over, under, over. I'm gonna Wait, get her why started. Wait, why is this side skinnier than this side? Mm, because you're pulling too hard over here, so you're losing it underneath. But that's okay, because you'll just keep adding, and then it'll Plus, even I can just out. turn it over after we're done. Yeah. So still okay, keep going. Okay. okay, so Charlotte, you wanna Thank you wanna you. do a few of these in the pink? Yeah, but then can you end it? Yes, then we can end it. <laughs> okay, so I ended with under, so you're going to go over. Okay, let me see if I can do a little bit of mine in between. There you go. I love something. Oh, thank you. Okay, so we, so Olivia actually did this on our Zoom call. Yeah, so she, my sister. Yes, she cut it off right here. It's already blend going into the white. Okay, so you're gonna have to hold on for a second. Let me get Emma situated. So what she did was she cut off that piece and then she cut off more yarn, right? And she got her two ends. And instead of anchoring to one of the twine pieces, she continued her yarn. So she knotted this together, the two ends, the two sets of ends. And she basically extended her yarn. So then she put the bobby pin through and just kept going as if it was 
one long piece of yarn that she had from the beginning. Okay, so I'm gonna trim off the ends though, so it's not too much. Okay, so we've extended your blue. You can continue. Let me see if I can fix this. All right, so this is what happens when you pull. Okay. When you pull too tightly, and you kind of just want to. You can't um, weave the whole time and then pull your yarn at the end. Mom, so weave a little bit. You're getting tired. <laughs> She's getting tired. Okay. You want to take a rest? You can talk to us. You can tell us different stories while I finish weaving yours. How about that? Or, or what? Or, or, or do you want to go get a treat for you and Emma? Yeah. A Halloween from the Halloween candy bucket? Sure. But she has like two buckets. She has like five buckets. <laughs> Wait, why do you say Halloween bucket when she has like five? Well, because I hid the others and... Um, okay, so she has no idea where the other ones are? Well, she knows. Yeah, she's seen me. She's sneaky. <laughs> All right, so, so like, we're going to continue you her, moving. You put her in her room so you, so you can hide them, but then she just got out of her room. Well, and, and there's only so many hiding places, right? I know where you could hide them. Where? In here. Because you could, sometimes you don't let her co to come in here. Okay, so she brought her bucket down. You guys can definitely pick a treat. So Why if you need we can fix that. So I would recommend looping over, under, over, under, over, maybe about five times, and then take a pause and catch your yarn up. So see, I looped all of that, and then now I'm gonna pull my yarn. That way you don't, you can still fix it and everything's a little bit easier to adjust right now. Charlotte, what color do you want after the pink? Turquoise. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna okay, end her pink. I'm going to the candy. <laughs> I have lost my sidekicks. Um, candy is way more interesting. All right, I'm gonna do one more just so that you can see it. So here's the end of the pink. I'm just going to... I'm not really good at knotting, so however you want to knot it, I basically split the ends at this time. I've done it pretty much differently every single time. I grabbed mine. You got it? Okay. I got mine. Okay, well you guys can have it. And then give me a second. I'm going to start hers. Oh, we've, we've got the energy back. So our next video should be very exciting. <laughs> yes, and I'm going to play this one. All right, so I'm going to do a I super short. Why are you climbing under the chair? Because I can't find my candy. Okay, Send then help. go grab a new one. Send a babysitter. I need the other one. Why'd you drop it? Ow! <laughs> I all right, wow. so I had a rough time knotting this one. I'm just going to tuck it under. What did you get? What was Slime. That? Slime? Oh, I thought you were getting a tree. Yeah, it's right here. Oh, okay. All right, so here's our turquoise. I'm going to tuck the excess under. But I'm not going to worry about it right now because you can tuck it under afterwards. All right, and then I'm just going to keep going. And there's lots of excitement mm. right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, candy. The answer to all our problems. It's candy. It's yeah. candy. I'll be back. I'm going to go back. Okay. All right, so you see I looped one whole round. I'm going to tuck it underneath. And I've officially lost my assistants. They've left the recording room. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna end here. And that's, you're gonna go all the way to the end. When you get to the end, it's totally up to you what you wanna do here. I tucked, I wanna finish this and go all the way to the edge. But what I did was all of our cut pieces, I tucked it under so that you won't see the white plate anymore. 
And if you get your green to go all the way to the edges, you should be able to cover your white plate. How many candies are you going to All right. Hey, one candy. I said one treat. All right, come back. I'm going to, let's do the tassels. Wait, do you want to finish this? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to add. pink now. You want pink now. Okay, so. And I'm going to have some skittles. And we have skittles for backup. All right. So I'm going to tie this one again. Yeah, for backup, what does the Skittles have to do with it? So I get more energy so I can make it fast, make my time faster. <laughs> Could you move a bit, Mommy? I can't see anything. Give me a second. Okay, so I'm going to tie this, this one off. We're going back to pink? Yes. Okay. Is this a pattern? Yes. What kind of pattern is it? A B pattern. An A B pattern. Good job. Okay. All right. So we're tying off the. Then the pattern is over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, under. Over, under, over, under. See how much fun you can have in your family if you do this craft, right, Emma? Yeah. Yeah. Over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. I think we should. And then make your cut. And then it'll turn into a tongue twister. Well, should we do a dance routine too? Over, under, over, under? No. <laughs> Charlotte would dance crazy. Yeah, Charlotte would dance crazy. All right, so I tied that one. Let's get our bobby if pin I in. Crazy, I put my tongue. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my. Okay. We're gonna have hey, Charlotte, can you close the door, please? Boom, boom. I got it. Okay. So oh, I started I Emma. <laughs> All right, Emma, I started your pink. <laughs> All right. That's your third candy. Char, no more. That's it. Mom, two. Okay. I've lost all control. <laughs> okay, go. so next I'm going to show you while Emma, while Emma finishes this one, I'm going to show you how to do I a tassel. Both the sidekicks are gone. Yeah, both my sidekicks are gone. Okay, so basically, um, I this is my Kindle, but you want to grab something so that you can wrap your yarn around. <laughs> Do you need to go upstairs? There is really okay. no upstairs. All right, so what you want to do is whatever um, template that you're using, um, that's going to determine the size of your pom pom or your tassel. So you kind of see this one, I did not use this. But um, that's basically Incoming what you would do. So you can oh. either do one color yarn or you can do multiple colors. So if you do one, I want to do about maybe um, 20, to, 20 to 30 loops. And I'll give you a second here. 